In this video I will show you how to dual boot Mac OS Ventura and Windows 11 on your Mac. Maybe Microsoft and Apple won't allow you to do this. But, by using this method, at least you can safely run both operating systems on your Mac with full resources. Before starting the video, I would like to remind you that, like my previous content, this video is concise and straightforward. So it's important that you don't skip any parts, as you may miss valuable information. Following the video step by step ensures a safe process, however, it is highly recommended to back up any important data beforehand. Let's start with step number one, in which we have to download Windows 11 from the official Microsoft website. It's a straightforward process, just head over to Microsoft.com, answer a few easy questions, and download the Windows 11 ISO file. After downloading Windows 11 ISO file, insert an 8 or 16 GB USB drive into the Mac. Make sure your USB drive is empty, otherwise, after the USB is formatted, all existing data inside the USB will be lost. After that, you have to open the Disk Utility app. Disk Utility app is located in the Utilities folder of your Applications folder. Once the Disk Utility app is opened, navigate to the View menu and then select Show All Devices. From the left-hand side, select the upper level of your USB drive and click on Erase button. It's optional, but if you want, you can give your USB a name. From Format drop-down menu, select XFAT. From Scheme drop-down menu, select Master Boot Record. Everything is OK, now hit the Erase button. After erasing, click the Done button and close the Disk Utility app. Now go to your download folder and mount Windows 11 ISO file. Select and copy all the files in the Windows 11 ISO file and paste them into your USB drive. After pasting the files, you can eject the Windows 11 ISO file as we no longer need it. I am giving you a link to my Google Drive in the video description, you have to download this MZ Learning folder from there. After downloading, copy both the folder files into your USB drive. Now close both windows and open the Disk Utility app one more time. This time, you have to select the upper level of your internal hard drive and click on the Partition button. Click on this plus icon. Click on the Add Partition button. Now partition your hard drive according to your need. I am using a small hard drive, so 41 gigabits is enough for me. If you want, you can give a name to this partition. After that, click the Format drop-down menu and choose MS-DOS. Everything is OK, now hit the Apply button. Click on the Partition button. Click on Continue. This process will take some time, depending on your hard drive speed and data. Anyway, after partitioning, click on the Done button and close your Disk Utility app. Now restart your Mac. As soon as you hear the startup sound, press the Option key on your keyboard. Just letting you know for your information. The Option key doesn't work on Apple Silicon Macs. You have to press the Power key for the Boot Peeker screen at startup. Anyway, select your USB drive and hit the Enter key. Now your Mac will start booting from USB. Install Windows 11, just like you install on your PC. When you receive this error, simply go back and press the Shift and F10, or Shift function, F10 key together. Type REGEDIT and hit the Enter key. Your registry editor will open. Go to the File menu and click on Import. A window like this will open in front of you. Go to your USB drive. Now select the bypass file from the USB and open it. And that's all. You will get a successful message. 
Now close the registry editor and CMD windows and continue the installation. After installation go to your USB drive and install Bootcamp drivers. If you have a Bootcamp app on your Mac, I would strongly recommend you download Bootcamp drivers using this app because every Mac model has different hardware. Anyway, after Bootcamp installation, you can smoothly run Windows 11 and macOS Ventura on your Mac. So friends hope you like this video, if you have any questions please feel free to ask in the comments section below. For Mac related videos please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, have a nice day.